Recovering tonight after he was attacked by a shoplifter over the weekend. The manager had talked to 12 News after the assault that happened at the Shell station on 32nd Street in Thomas. Team 12's Monica Garcia has more on the violent confrontation. That video captured right here in this shell is just hard to watch, and that's why many companies dissuade their employees to go after shoplifters. They say it's just too unsafe. Saturday night and a busy gas station. Normal Saturday night shift change. Uh, the employee just arrived on shift a few minutes earlier. Two men go inside the Shell gas station on 32nd Street and Thomas. And according to general manager Philip Butler, appear to steal uh, the items. Man in the gray uh, has candy items in his left hand, his right hand and then slips it into his right pocket. Moments later, a store employee who wishes to remain anonymous follows the men outside to the parking lot. He asked the guy to come back in and pay for the stuff that he took. That leads to this confrontation captured on surveillance video. Employee said he looked away briefly just for a second and the guy sucker punched him uh, at the car door. The car door was open. The guy slams it into reverse. Uh, partially running over the employee and catching him with the door. And his leg was run over. Broken toe, broken finger, lacerations, fractured vertebrae in his back. He says his employee is still recovering. Some people might say, should your employees be following shoplifters? Right. Well, you know, uh, the way I look at this in the past is if you do nothing, you do absolutely nothing. It invites more problems. But he worries about future problems involving customers. Our, our hands are tied, but you know, especially after this, uh, you know, we're, we're not approaching anybody. It, it, it's too dangerous. In the meantime, if you recognize those two men, you're asked to call Phoenix police. In Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia, 12 News.